U.S. President Joe Biden's administration has rejected plans to send their troops to Haiti in the Kenya-led peacekeeping mission. As per a national security official who spoke to McClatchy, an American publication, on Monday, March 4, the U.S. is urgently mobilizing all possible assistance, including from the international community, to aid the Caribbean nation. Meanwhile, after Haiti declared a state of emergency, John Kirby the White House National Security Communications Advisor emphasized that the White House was working to expedite the deployment of Kenya police officers. He emphasized that the U.S. was working with international partners to offer Haiti immediate support. The decision to not send U.S. troops to the Caribbean nation was made despite requests from Haitian officials who argued that Kenya's deployment had been delayed leading to more chaos. Haitian officials called for the emergency deployment of the U.S. Special Forces. Haitian diplomatic officials raised these concerns during a 72-hour communication with their U.S. officials. The U.S. has been among the global nations advocating for the deployment of 1,000 Kenyan police officers, alongside personnel from various other countries, to address the wider spread violence in Haiti. The Biden administration had pledged to support the mission with billion 200 million U.S. dollars. However, this allocation faced opposition from Republican lawmakers in Congress. Kenya was among four nations who are set to deploy officers to the war-torn nation. Kenya's deployment was however blocked by the High Court in January and termed as unconstitutional. Despite the ruling President William Ruto pledged to deploy the officers after talks with Haiti officials. On Friday, March 1st, Ruto and Haiti Prime Minister Ariel Henry signed an agreement to deploy the police officers 